Hello everyone, and welcome to A Naval Plays St. Kodar, The Yellow Mask. So, this I found on Steam. It's a point and click. I normally don't play point and clicks, but it, I don't know, seemed interesting. I don't know how good it is, I don't know how bad it is. I don't know anything about it other than it's a horror point and click, and, and that's it. <laughs> so, without further ado, uh, let's just see what this is all about. Uh, start a new game. I believe in God. Okay. God is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Okay. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Okay. For you are with me. Ah, nice biblical references. Whoa. What is this place? I have no memory of it. I feel guilty. I did something horrible, but I can't remember what it is. I can't remember my life at all. I need help, and I must seek forgiveness. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a bit abrupt. Uh, use the mountain to examine, interact, blah, 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 blah. Use the right mouse button. Okay, so left to interact, examine, to use stuff. Use the right mountain to also examine and walk to. Okay, right to walk, left to uh, do stuff. Refer to help in the menu for more detail. Okay. Nope, I didn't. Uh, I didn't mean for that. It's barely visible, but the altar seems unusual. It is adorned with strangely shaped sticks and, uh, I think, yellow cloths. Hmm. All right. Graves. Wow. I have a strange feeling looking at these graves. <laughs> For reasons unknown, the stones have no names or dates, just a cross. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, so, the church itself? Something about this church. Yeah, it's dilapidated and falling apart. I think I've already visited it numerous times in the past, but I don't have any memory to support that thought. Okay, so he's a bit, uh, what's that? What's that for? Well, whatever. I, I'll worry about it later. Sacred Heart. A symbol of Christ's eternal love for all humanity. Ah. And look at the forest. Can I? A silent cathedral of tall trees. <laughs> its gaze gives me a crippling sense of dread. Very descriptive. I love that. That was that's a good description. I, <laughs> the cathedral of Tall Trees. All right. Well, I guess. Uh... Oh. I'm not capable of taking that path. Uh, why not? Okay, so I have no choice but to use the door. I can't. Why not? It's stuck. Someone's holding it from the inside. Wait, what? May I come in? All I seek is help and forgiveness. For what? That voice. I recognize it. It won't budge. Father, can you let me in? I, I know it's you. Here on the doorstep of the blessed house, I'm asking you. I'm begging. You have not what? set what? your mind on the things of God, but on the things of men. I know I did something horrible. I can feel it. But everything's How? so obscured, I have no memory of my deeds. I beg you, have mercy. Let me pass. I need his help and absolution. Hey. Something's appearing on the stones. Oh no. I'm gonna check out the window again. It's barely visible, but the altar seems unusual. It is adorned with strangely shaped oh, sticks. Blair and Witch. I think yellow cloths. Okay, Miss Blair Witch, you already have a house. Do you need a church as well? Anything it's else? It's barely visible. Okay, good. I can fast track that. Before I read those, uh, <coughs> sorry. 
It's locked. Now it's just plain locked. Hmm. Okay, well, let's uh, look at this grave. It reads Yosef Donani, 1935 to 199. The year of his death is missing. Hmm. I can't remember what happened to you. Father, can you... Your mind was infected by your corrupted soul. Shame on you, unrighteous creature. Question, how do you know that's God? Okay, whatever. I can't remember anything around past. My mind may be roaming the shadows, but my soul is still pure. Let me talk to him. Yeah, let's do that. My mind may be roaming in the shadows, but my soul is still pure. Let me talk to him. You don't have a soul Wait, anymore, what? son. Son. Look inside. What do you see? Guilt and sorrow, apparently. Guilt and sorrow. If you had stayed true to the faith, nothing sinful would have ever happened. Now, see, that's an assumption. I've never abandoned faith. The true faith... What is true faith? I know you taught me what it is, but I can't remember. Okay. So let's just repeat what he just desperately cried out. I can't remember anything from the past. I can't remember anything from the past. A long time ago, you've made a fateful decision to abandon God. <gasps> there shall be no grace for you. That's a dick. I never abandoned God. Let me pass. Let me understand what... Enough! No words will ever open that door again for you. I see you say that. It's a pity to what you've been reduced to, Benedek. Who are a you? A corrupted soul is like a bottomless black pit. It nourishes a false faith. You have been eternally banished from his house. But forgiveness is what he can give, even in the darkest of places. Accept your burden. And what burden is that? The Bible, which I'm going to be taking, apparently. Okay. This is a lot more Christian than I was expecting. Actually, I wasn't anything, expecting anything religious at I all. I accept your Bible, Father. It is my burden now. Why? Now walk to the other side of the valley until you reach the place of torment and sorrow. Well, hardly. What? Why? That is my punishment. To dwell eternally in such a place. That seems You've harsh. You've already been punished. For your sins, you have been cursed. Who cursed me? God did this to me? Who cursed me? God did this to me? Deeds cannot be undone, but can be forgiven. Okay. If you truly repent and want to be absolved in his eye, you must go and save your bloodline's last soul. What? I don't understand. I'm the last of my bloodline. Everyone else is dead. Fallacy. Now leave. Act before the time has passed. Wait, I'm begging you! Who are you? <sighs> okay, yeah, what are my sins? What are my sins? Father? Father! Answer me! Into your hands I commend my fate like I always did. I don't know who I am looking for, but I need to act quickly and find that poor soul before it's too late. For both of us. How? Okay. How exact? Oh. Oh. Okay. So that's why I like my inventory. Father, am I allowed to pass now with the burden in my hands? Nothing but silence. Okay. Well, let's look at this grave. Petra Donani, 1943 to 1997. Mm. Forgive me, Mother. I barely remember you. And that's it. Okay. Hmm. 
that's the running. Okay. And now I'm just automatically going to the valley. Oh, that, uh... The path to redemption. They're... Or hell. I would say that's more hell. Wah! This is the place. Not a single soul is alive here. I may be late. Um, and the big creepy eye doesn't bother you, or stand out in any way? Really? Okay. Well, let's have a look at the... Can I... I can speak to the eye. Okay. Okay, let's look at the remains. It's a rotting mass of scorched flesh and dried blood. I should stay away from that. It could be infectious. <laughs> yes, rotting flesh has a tendency to, to do that. Pile of cadavers. And what about this cadaver? And the eye follows me! That's just creepy. Fire mutilated its hands and gave it a locust-like figure. Okay, what about this one? Its limbs are still intact, but the head has no eyes, no mouth, and no ears. Hmm, okay. And I can't look at this one. Salvation is what this person sought but failed to achieve. Okay, I can see I'm probably gonna get into a lot of trouble for this video. Uh... Yeah, because you're gonna... Oh, can I... I struggle to find a reason to do that. Oh, come on. It'd be fun. Okay, what about... Yeah. I should contemplate more about this decision. Oh, come on. Alright. What about these piled cadavers? The scent so close to this strange altar is unbearable. Yeah. All of these people scorched beyond recognition. It's impossible to... Hold on. They all have almost identical marks on their flesh. Yeah, examine the marks closely. So familiar. I must have seen them before. What? I know. Seals of pledge, the devil's marks. These people pledged their obedience to the most evil of all. Have they? mindless beings. There's uh. something on one of the cadaver's neck. A necklace, it seems. Okay. Oh. Can I... Okay, here. Come here. And no, I can't do anything. But uh, let's look at the strange altar. It's formed by several people crawling into each other. Its significance and use are beyond my comprehension. Okay. And what if I use the Bible on it? I should contemplate more about this decision. <laughs> I like he's how he's just calmly says that. It's like, yeah, you're obviously in a hell dimension with a giant eyeball looking, staring at you, oh, weird. And yeah, there's a <laughs> there's religious people who are gonna who are gonna give me shit. If I was a bigger channel, I tell you, people, I'd have religious people up there up my ass right now. <laughs> and all I can say is, fuck you. This is an honest, offensive lad, boys and girls. Offensive. What part of offensive do you not understand? I don't give a shit. Okay, I'm permanently demonetized. What do you think you're going to do? I am not doing anything wrong. Anyway. <laughs> That's my rant of the day. Uh, well, let's speak to the big creepy eyeball. God, talk to me. I highly doubt that's God. Sign. Where's my bloodline's last soul? Nothing but silence. Oh, seriously? Alright. We have to do it this way. Can I... My burden. My soul. Oh. So I can look at it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so... Oh, no, no. Fuck. God damn it. I should contemplate more about this decision. Oh. God, talk to me. Give me a sign. Where's my bloodline's last soul? Nothing but silence. Okay, so I don't know what to do. It's formed by several people crawling into each other. Its significance and use are beyond my comprehension. 
It's a rotting mass of scorched flesh and dried blood. I should stay away from that. It could be infectious. Okay, so... Can I... Oh, there we go. I wondering about the fucking necklace. It's a rosary. Still intact. Some initials are carved on the cross. B. D. B and D. I can't recall. I, I'm struggling, but there's something about it that... Oh, what's this? Oh! Uh, hi there. <coughs> Sorry. Who are you? What do you want? In the name of God, answer me or be gone. In the name of God, answer me or be gone. What makes you think it's going to listen? Victoria. Show yourself. Um, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Victoria. Victoria? <laughs> she had the rosary. My rosary. Those initials are mine. What? This is my sister. My bloodline's last soul. Dead. In front of my eyes. Oh, she went to, uh... Um... So she went to hell. Along with you, apparently. What the fuck have you guys done? Okay, you killed my sister fiend! Or, God, have mercy on me, save me. Um, shit, that's kind of selfish, and that other one's just vindictive without... That's a false... That could be a false accusation. And that's just being selfish. Uh, fuck, I don't want to do either of these, but you know what? I gotta do one of them. So, uh, you killed my sister fiend! You killed my sister fiend! May God drown you in the lake of fire! Okay, Burn eternally um, amid shrieks! Yeah, and you might want to stop. Just, just despair. stop. Yeah, yeah, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Your sins. Oh! Your bloodline is cursed. For what? For what? Did, what? What did I. What did he do? The fire. Uh, the fire. The screaming. The smell of burnt flesh. The fire. The screaming. The smell of burned flesh. I remember now. I executed them all. Wait, what? Torched them alive in the name of God for acts of heresy. Ah, we went ancient, uh, and biblical I in Victoria. Islam the last of my bloodline too. Just about every religion. But I still can't remember. Nothing before or after this act. Nothing at all. It's like I'm seeing someone else's memory. Could be. Save my sister's soul. Punish me. Save my sister's <clears throat> soul. Punish me. How do you know that's God? That could be Satan for all my you know. Sins. My sins. My sins. Ah, wow, this is heavily Christian. I mean, it could be as uh, Eternal torment and sorrow is all I want. What? Why? <coughs> you burned your own sister. Uh, for there. Uh, for there are sins that lead to hell. Don't all sins lead to hell? Okay, he's going nuts. So it was a nightmare. Huh. My, my eyes, I can't see. I can't see anything at all. It's because you're missing your glasses, dip nut. My my eyes are fine. It's it's just that I don't oh, I, I don't have my glasses on. Told you. That dream, the church from my hometown, the graves of my parents, the crucified cadavers, and God in the form of an eye. How do you know that was God? Uh, hmm. It was the most terrible dream I've ever had. That wasn't me. That's not who I am, God. You know me. 
<clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry, but that whole stuff about you know being saying that uh, being sent to hell and all those sins and stuff, that's actually a lot of religions and not just Christianity. You'll find a lot of parallels in Islam and, uh, and many other religions. And I know that there would be uh, religious pe folks who would dispute me on that or probably <laughs> shit on me or threaten me for daring to say for daring to say that. But, it, but it's true. Well, let's continue, shall we? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I remember everything from my past. I've never sinned. I've never been forbidden to enter a church, even when I farted. It uh, it was awkward and kind of funny, but and made some people faint. But uh, never been forbidden. I remember everything from my past. I've never sinned. I've never been forbidden to enter a church. I know what true faith is. I'm obedient only to you, God. Why it's God what be a I slave? want. It's how my father taught me to be. My father, who one day just disappeared mm -hmm. from our lives, shattering my mother's will to live. My That's father, harsh. Who gave me his Bible the day before he left our family. Oh. Okay, I'm beginning to detect other themes here. Uh, he's feeling the weight and the burden and the guilt of having to become the man of the family when his dad abandoned them all. Okay, I mean, it's. I'm beginning to see just the. Uh, uh, the package this guy ha is having. What? I, I can't find it. It's not in my jacket. Did you take it to the bathroom? Where is it? It must be here somewhere. Well, put on your fucking glasses and look. An object. <laughs> okay, there's an object there. Please let that be the glasses. It's my blanket. Oh. Okay. It's my blanket. Oh, okay. I just thought maybe I could move it or something, but no, I can't. Anything else uh, nearby? No. Okay, so here's an object. Please let it be the A glasses. stick? Uh, what? I don't need it. Ah, uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Can you stand up at least? It, yeah. Something's on the floor. Oh. There we go. Glasses? Oh. Yeah, I've done that a few times. Yeah, I wear glasses. I'm so distressed. How was I supposed to find anything without them? That's a good question. Victoria may have been killed by my hand inside the nightmare, but she did something even more terrible to me outside of it. Wow. She dragged me to this town and made me stay in this living tomb of a house that tried to taint me while I was sleeping. What? No. It didn't try to taint me. It tried to curse me. Yes. To curse my soul. You really are nuts. I was told in the nightmare that I was cursed. It must have been my mind which was trying to warn me I was being cursed by the house. Or by the town as a whole. I don't know. Both, I guess. I'm still in peril here. <clears throat> I should leave at once. But I can't. Why not? I can't leave without my Bible, and I can't leave alone. Uh. Not without my... My bloodline's last soul by my side. Oh, boy. He really is nuts. Okay. So, uh. Oh. It doesn't belong to any of us. Uh, but maybe. Nothing. Just a few very long and thick spikes. Uh, what? <laughs> that, uh, that doesn't strike you as odd? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's take the stick. Why not? Jesus Christ. I don't need it. You never know. Just take everything. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look at these paintings. I don't understand the smaller ones. It's something abstract. But the lady, she has kind, dark eyes. 
and a grave face with long black hairs, and such a strange, sad smile. Huh. All right. Can you take the blanket? <coughs> ah, my blanket. And he took it. Yes. Okay, now with the blanket gone. Okay. Stoop. Yeah, what is... What's this stoop thing? This is not a stoop. And the water inside is not holy. This is profane. So bless it. Okay. Uh, can't do anything with that. Let's take a look at this portrait. <clears throat> it depicts a pale bald man with a very long white or even yellow beard. You'd think you'd be able to tell the difference. Okay, and I uh, can't get that, so well, let's look out the window. Tall, dark trees, a crossroad, and a lonely house. It's as bleak as it is in here. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so I'm willing to bet his curse has to do with the fact has to deal with the fact that he feels burdened by the fact that his dad left uh, when they were young. He when he was young, he had to. Uh, become the man of the house and that's what's trying to eat at him is that that curse is that it's a burden that's cursing him and it's going to end up destroying his relationship with his sister or something along that lines that's the metaphor i'm thinking or that's what i'm thinking is actually going on but uh i could be full of shit so we'll see it's like staring into a starless sky completely black cold silent very descriptive. Well, let's take a look at the bust. Giggity. It's a bust of an unknown veiled person. Everything here feels so wrong. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Nothing there. Wait. Can't do anything with that. Alright. So, a sewing machine. Mother used to have a similar one. I can still hear its sound in my head. Wait. See the images of those beautiful childhood days in my mind. Oh, boy. Can I take the scissors? I mean, could be a good weapon. Especially with all the evil, creepy dolls and one being made right here and with a little skull and you don't fucking say anything about it. You fuck nut psycho. It looks like a miniature of a skull-headed humanoid tribe. Sculpture? It's an older man, apparently terrified by something he has seen, without being able to see. Okay. Same thing? An elderly man with a strangely shaped face. Both of his eyes are gouged out. The area around the mouth looks particularly strange. It does, huh? It feels different, like a separate object. It's moving. It can be pulled. Something moved somewhere. I never should have touched it. Yes, you should have. Well, let's have a look. Um... Yeah, let's see if we can't take the stick again. I, I really want... It. Yes, you do! Take it! Take it, you bastard! It's just a blanket. All right, well, let's go up the stairs. I can't see my Bible in these shadows. I just hope. Victoria must have taken it from me while I was asleep and then placed what? it somewhere upstairs. There was no other explanation. Even though... Even though what? It is strange. She never did that. What? So... <laughs> you decide to spew all that out before you go up the stairs? Okay. Yeah, there's someone there. And this sculpture. The eyes give her a frog-like resemblance. Ribbit. Can I at least turn something? No. This makes me wonder. 
Are all the creations in this house a consequence of someone's imagination or experience? Your lips don't move. Okay. Nothing specific there. Canvas. It's an unfinished painting of what looks to be like a mother and a child standing in shallow water. Hmm. Okay. Books. The manuscript of Luca Tomini, Codex Niva, Goldin, Heart of Pagubitze. I've never heard of these works. Hey, don't worry, I haven't either. Sculpture. Ooh, I'm gonna be killed when I get close to the guy. Is that a giant heart? Yeah. Portrait. The painting is stained, but the sinister gaze of the man is still clearly noticeable. Um, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, can I? Oops, no, I have to do this. God, this feels wrong. Okay. Fine. Sculpture. Who's there? Victoria? No. Oh. Nikolai? Nikolai? Where's my Bible? I don't know. Why don't you ask her? Where is she? Under the blanket. Come closer. Oh, oh, oh no. Wake her up. No, no, no. Yeah, let's open the curtain. Get some light in here, please. Leave it, for the sake of my eyes. Oh, come on. I hate the dark. Uh, you dick. I fucking hate you. <laughs> uh, cabinet wardrobe. The bed's empty. Where is she? What do you believe in, Benedict? Where's my sister? I need to see her. She took my Bible away from me. Did Answer she? me first. Besides God, what do you believe in? I believe life should be spent in solitude, where questions like yours cannot arise. Wow. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to say to that. I believe life should be spent in solitude, where questions like yours cannot arise. See, I believe life is pointless without a family. We don't exist if we don't belong to someone else except it belong. God. Family, Benedict. Without a family, life cannot exist. See, that's just not true. Wow, you made that clear enough when you abandoned priesthood to marry my sister. Yeah, this is all an existential thing about all the demons he's facing. All the burdens he's playing... And how he just generally went into a giant fucking psycho nutbag. <laughs> he went total psycho nutbag when he decided to... Uh, uh, because of all the burdens he was placed with. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. You made that clear enough when you abandoned priesthood to marry my sister. That was a sacrifice I believed had to be made. As of today... I'm not so sure anymore. I'm not following. Think about that. Family members don't hurt each other. It's wrong. Don't you agree? They shouldn't hurt each other, but they do all the time. Anyway. <laughs> uh, sorry, I couldn't help it. Anyway, Victoria hurt you. What did she do this time? Victoria they, hurt this you? This time? What did she do this time? Oh my you God. did. Wait, what? You turned her against me. What? What are you talking about? About the things you suggested to her yesterday on the train. I beg your pardon? I didn't say a word to her, to you, to no one, as a matter of fact. What about calling me an addict? Well, this is all out of nowhere. That I did say. Well, what have I done? I didn't turn her against you. She even defended you. Yeah, I that guess. That I did say. But what have I done? I didn't turn her against you. She even defended you. Of course she did. When she's the one who gave me the morphine months ago. What? She did what? She did what family's supposed to do. She helped her husband to alleviate his pain. What pain? That must have been some serious now, shit. it's your turn, Benedict. What? Will you help me? Help you with what? I just want to talk to her. Yeah. And you're the one who told me she was there. <laughs> what? 
Okay. Oh, my lord. All right. Help you with what? I, I just want to talk to her. I want that, too. I want to talk to my wife. So where is she? What's going on? I, I don't want to stay here anymore. What's stopping you? You think I'm a degenerate? Have I imagined hearing your voices downstairs? Who? Uh, that was just me. She's not downstairs. How many times I called your names before hearing that horrible scream of yours? What? I screamed when I woke up from a terrible nightmare. Well, I'm living the nightmare right now. Don't lie to me. I heard you talking after that scream. What? I talked to God, and I talked to myself, and then I came here to talk to her. Is that true? Because the real problem I have is that the two of you emptied my whole bag while I was asleep. Why? I don't care about all that stuff. Have it. So why'd you bring it up? Now that he mentioned his bag, where's mine? I didn't see it downstairs. Well, maybe... Just give me my morph... My pills back. Make my pain go away. Dude, you, uh... You think I'm a thief? Go on then, search me. Instead of accusing me, perhaps you should search in that bag of yours again. Um... Yeah, search me. I mean, I don't think I have anything. You think I'm a thief? Go on, then. Search me. I believe you can be anything you want, as long as it fits your vision of righteousness, Brother Benedict. But you're not stupid. You wouldn't risk being caught while carrying them around. Jesus Christ. Yeah, instead of accusing you, perhaps you should search that, search in that bag of yours again. Instead of accusing me, perhaps you should search in that bag of yours again. I did that, and I scoured the whole floor several times already, only to find nothing. Someone took my pills. Or maybe you maybe took them all. Maybe it was you. Maybe it was her. Maybe, maybe you took them all. it's time for me to start questioning my belonging to this family. I'm going to go downstairs now. You stay here. Why? Jesus. I already told you she's not there. Don't be anxious. If she is, I'll make her talk and give me my pills back. What? If she's not, I'll find them by myself. In any case, I'll call you once I'm done. Huh. Maybe they had a quarrel and she left before I woke up. I don't trust him. Whatever the truth is, I should take the chance and search for my Bible while he's not around. Remember what I asked you? Have you seen my Bible? I don't understand. You want my help? Um... <laughs> uh, to be honest, I'm not sure I've seen it. But you should definitely search the floor. People say I don't have a keen eye for details. So I might not have noticed it. Okay. And I can move again. Draw the curtains. Not ideal, but much better. Ah, uh, okay, so let's... I can switch characters. So, obviously your wife's not here, Nikolai. She must have sneaked out while Benedict was holding you upstairs. And now you're supposed to go after her, right? Perhaps she has your pills. But... If you've learned something in your marriage, it's that she always expects you to make the most obvious decision. Just look around the room first. Okay. Looks like the owner has an alluring hobby. Eh, these dolls are nothing special. Except for the big ones at the back. Not counting the headless ones, of course. You should definitely take one of them for your private collection. Which one do you choose? The horned one? The crowned one? <laughs> so I have a choice between the horned one or the crowned one. Hmm. Can't I just... Oh, no. Uh, well, wait, hold on. Must be at least a century old. Okay. Uh, look at the sculpture. A shrieking person. 
Okay, and look at this sculpture. Can you do anything with the mouth? Hmm. A blinded dead man. How do you know he's dead? Take a look at the stick. Can you take that? Just a mere wooden stick. Okay. Take a look at the painting. The witch, the king, and the kingdom. Hmm. And, the, and that's it. With that dramatic... Uh, okay, you know what? Let's go for the crowned one. Good choice. The image of Jesus. The doll with a thorny crown. Okay. Fascinating. What do we have here? A small brown bag. And it's not just any bag. It's Benedict's bag. So you have to ask yourself why it was hidden here. What's inside? Yeah, well, isn't that interesting? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to play this much longer. It's definitely confusing because there's just you're just kind of throwing this mystery. A yellow blanket wrinkled only on one side of the bed, which hmm. means that either Victoria or Nikolai didn't sleep here. Oh, he lied. Let's look at that sculpture. Oh. I've never seen this woman, but I feel like I know her from somewhere. It's not a pleasant feeling, though. Hmm. I can open that, that door, but I'm not going to just yet. Strange. These are not books. Just blank covers with no names and no numbers. Hmm. My Bible doesn't seem to be among them. Okay. Let's look at the cabinet. With a creepy-ass tree drawing. It's locked. Okay. Wall it's a giant tree with dozens of corpses hanging from its branches. Oh, boy. And skulls that feed its roots. The branches represent visual keychain holders, and there's a key hanging as a corpse on one of them. Uh, haha, there we go. Let's open the wardrobe before I go for that cabinet. Uh, I can't breathe. It smells so sickening. Ah, oh, crap. Just old clothes. And really? nothing but mold in them. Oh, wow. That is old. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, let's take the key. Keys on the cabinet. Appalling. A heap of dead... Dead what? And uh, with the rat. Damned rats! It scurried into the wall. Oh, crap. Well, let's take a look inside. Who See keeps a heap of dissected frogs in his house? Ew. That's disgusting. Cabinet, cabinet interior, wardrobe interior. Can't do anything with that. All right, well, I guess it's going to the door. I'll have to find a key first. Okay, so yeah, there's a, what? Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't even see that. It's just so dark. Was he telling me the truth? He did. It's completely empty. Why would Victoria take all of his belongings? It doesn't make any sense. Victoria! Nikolai, what's happening? I'd better check. Oh, now you want to go downstairs. That window was right above the front door. I guess I'm checking. Liar said he'd call me. Nikolai! Wait! I have to stop him. Alright. And I think I'm going to end it here. 
I've been playing for quite a while. I got a little hooked here, uh, I must say, just because I'm my curiosity mostly. Uh, the religious themes are very heavy. These uh, protagonists are very unlikable, I gotta say. I'm sorry, I just don't like them. Uh, I mean, there, I'm sure there's some tragic background to them and all that. Maybe there's they're going to be fleshed out. Because I did just initially meet them, and I don't really like them so far. Uh, you know, I'm tempted to make this a series, or at least one more uh, in, the, in this, just to see how, how well it goes, to see how well I like it. Because... Right now, it's just kind of an initial uh, initial impression, and I'm not sure I want to continue going with this. So, thank you so much for coming and watching. I've been enabled. This is uh, playing uh, something Kodar. <laughs> I'm so terrible with names, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.